Hi, my name is Mel. Come along with me as I explore, travel, adventure, and create photography. This is Miniature, the home for my adventure stories. We decided to go for an adventure. But where are we going? We look in a map where we can go around the Logan Mountains. And we saw Old Frame's grave. We were curious who is A-Frame and why his grave in the mountain. Well, today, you are going to join on my adventure and find out who is Old A-Frame. Let's go! The adventure begins at Temple Fort in Logan Canyon. This trail is primarily used for OHV off-road driving. The road was easy dirt road, then changed to moderate. It has a couple rocky section that you need to slow down and take your time through. So slow down and enjoy the journey with endless spectacular scenery, beautiful mountains, expansive fields of wildflowers, and ending up at the monument to top it off. At the parking area, you'll need a short stroll to see the monument with benches to sit and enjoy the area. This is monument to what's thought to be the last grizzly killed in Utah. The bear stood almost 10 feet tall, and the rock marker at the side is supposed to show his actual height. Across the road from the new monument, a short trail visit the old wooden sign and original grave site, a final resting spot of legendary grizzly old A-frame. Who is old A-frame? Old A-frame was the last grizzly bear in Utah and the curse of local sheep herders. After 10 years of tracking, Frank Clark finally killed the bear on August 22, 1923. And the time of his death, old A-frame stood 10 feet tall and weighed 1,100 pounds. Have you been to old A-frame grave? What was your favorite thing about it? Leave your comments below. I love hearing from you. 
and stay tuned for more outdoor adventures. Thank you guys for watching. If you would like to watch more videos, just search Mini Tour. Remember, no space. And see you in the next adventure. Bye!